It's happening. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Ladies and gentlemen, Ranger fans everywhere. It's happening. It's happening. Drafted ninth overall in 2018, Vitaly Kravtsov to the New York Rangers. He has signed an entry-level deal with the New York Rangers just days after the KHL League ended. Let's just say he starts with the club, he will be 19 years old to start the club, similar to Philip Hedl and Leas Anderson. 6'2", 170. For a 19 year old, he's very similar to Philip Hedl's size, but, I mean, he's still got time to grow. Now let's dive into some stats on our big Russian kid. Kravtsov led all players under 20 years old in points, goals, and in assists. He had 8 goals and 13 assists, good enough for 21 points in the league, and he was under 20 years old doing that, playing with grown men in the KHL. So in KHL, there's something called the Gagarin Cup Playoffs. Now in the 2018 playoffs, which I'm pretty sure might be separate from the Gagarin Playoffs, he tallied 6 goals and 5 assists, and then in the Gagarin Playoffs, he had tallied 1 more goal and 2 more assists. So if you add up all those playoff points, he had the most playoff points by a teenager in that league. Ever. To me, a player can get the best to his abilities when he is good on both sides of the puck. I'm not saying a two-way forward. However, I want him to be better defensively because that will really help his offensive game. Now let's talk about Igor Shostorkin, who absolutely lit up the KHL. Let's talk about first how we even got Shostorkin's draft pick, because it wasn't ours. In February of 2014, the Chicago Blackhawks traded that draft pick to the New York Islanders for Peter Regan and Pierre-Marc Bouchard. Now just two months later, that same draft pick was traded to the Washington Capitals for Yaroslav Halak. This is a fourth round pick we're talking about here. And then a couple months later on draft day, the Washington Capitals traded the fourth round pick to the New York Rangers. On draft day, the New York Rangers made this trade and drafted Igor Shostorkin, the fourth round 118th pick. Let's dive into some of his stats. 88, 16, and seven was his record in his career in the KHL. A 1.68 goals against average and a 935 save percentage. 27 shutouts to add on top of that in 115 games. Sorry, 117. In goalies who appeared in at least 50 games in the KHL's history, his goals against average, 1.68, is the best all time. And his 935 save percentage, second best all time. This kid literally lit up the goaltending world in Russia. 88 wins in 117 games is insane. Now, you're probably thinking, is it going to translate over? Now, I remember saying that Igor Shoshorkin was having problems, you know, he might not want to come over if he wasn't playing in the NHL, and that was a false report, 100% false report. He completely understands that if he needs to come to the AHL and play in Hartford, then yeah, he needs to develop his game, do it. Because if you really think about it, the KHL is very different from the AHL, and the AHL is extremely different than the NHL. So if you really think about it, it's more beneficial for you if you go and get more reps in the AHL. If you really see more pucks, you know, at a professional American league, I think it'll really help him. And the fact that he sees that as well, I love that. The Russians are coming, baby. I cannot wait to see them in red, white, and blue. I am so excited for these kids. They've worked their asses off throughout the whole seasons they've been in the KHL. Finally making it to the NHL. Let's see what happens, man. We're really excited. I know the Rangers are really excited. A lot of fans are really excited. I was on Twitter. Uh, look at this little post here by AJ Castigli. If you don't know him, you should definitely go give him a follow. Um, look at this picture, man. It's sick. Like, it's, it's literally Christmas. I cannot wait. Um, stay tuned, especially for that Adam Fox video. That'll be out tomorrow, and I know you guys are really excited for him. Uh, I'm going to go really in-depth on him and what we really should expect. So, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more. Stay tuned for that Adam Fox video tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later.